Hi and welcome to Rose Red Homestead. We're so glad you joined us today. As you know, our community focuses on food security, self-reliance, and emergency preparedness. One of the most important things having to do with food security is to have the sure knowledge that the pressure canner that you are using to preserve food is safe that it holds the food up in the appropriate temperature range long enough to kill all botulism spores so there is no danger of botulism. So today we're going to be continuing our testing of the Presto Digital Canner. I have it sitting right here. And um, by the time you see this video, I will have already announced the results because we're not going to release these individual videos until after I have given the, the results of everything. So as of this point, we don't know what's going to be happening with these green beans. So I have a whole big tub of green beans right here and eight pint jars. And when we come back, I will show you the method of how to uh, pressure can green beans. We'll do it in the Presto digital canner, and I am going to use my data logger to track the temperature to see for sure if the food that we end up with in the jars is safe. So we'll be right back. about halfway with water. I am following the manufacturer's instructions exactly because that's what a true test needs to do. I'm not taking any shortcuts. I'm not doing anything that is not recommended by the manufacturer. So the first step, all eight jars are now in here. So to put the lid on, you have to match this little tick right here inside the U and once those are aligned, then you just slide this around. And um, then this is how you close it. And I push down on this and swing it around so it's now locked in place. Now I need to pull the regulator off because the regulator um, ensures that there is pressure in the counter. And for this warming um, sequence, we do not want to have that. So I'm just gonna set it right there so I don't forget. Now you will know that uh, note that right here on the screen, a pressure can is blinking. So there are a few things that I need to do right here. So I'm going to, I've got the jars in there. I'm a little ahead of schedule, but that's okay. And this little blinking number right here tells me that I need to enter the time and it is the processing time. And I am following USDA guidelines. And so processing time for fresh green beans in pint jars is 20 minutes. So I'm going to advance that to 20 minutes. All right, so now that's the time that it will process a little bit later in the cycle. So next says, insert jars. Well, I've already done that. Okay, so now it is warming right here. These little indicators let us know that the heat is going, and this will take about 20 minutes. Presto likes to have us can in jars that have been warmed. And, um, and I'll tell you later why I think that they have us do that. So we will come back when this cycle is done. It will take 15 minutes. We'll be back, and then at that point in time, we'll be ready to fill the jars. The machine just dinged twice, which means that the warming cycle is finished. And if you look at the screen, Jim is gonna get a shot of that, and it says, fill jars. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, we're not concerned about any pressure, so I can just open this up, except I'm trying to do it backwards. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now the jars are warm, a little bit hot. So I'm going to empty the hot water my green beans are washed and they've been in warm water because I'm going to do, I want to have the food fairly warm. And 
and then I'm going to fill it with hot boiling water. If you're going to put salt in, now is the time to do it. I generally do not can with salt, except for sometimes. And so I'm just going to be putting the boiling water in. And I'm using, uh, this is a serrated plastic and I'm not going to put the serrations down in the jars. And I'm just debubbling here. And wiping the rims. And I'll put the lid and ring on and put it back in the canner. Now on this next one, we are going to put my data logger in. Here is the data logger. This is, it has a little computer on the inside and a little um, temperature mechanism. The probe right here measures the temperature and it is going to give me a readout every one minute. And so I'll be able to follow as the temperature in the canner climbs and climbs and we'll see if it gets into the kill zone for botulism and then how soon it drops off on the other side. So I'm just going to put it right down there in the middle and then we are going to carefully put green beans all around it. So it's still in place, looking good. And debubble. Oh, wait, I have to put water in. Boiling water, one inch headspace, and debubble. So this one is going to be just like all the other ones, except that it has the data logger in it. And to be sure that I don't lose track of what that one is, don't want to lose my data logger, I'm going to put a little blue X on it. Okay. I'm going to fill the rest of these and we'll come back when the jars are filled. Jim caught the fact that I had not wiped off the rim of our lager jar, so I want to be sure that we do that. I don't expect anything to be on here because it's just green beans and water with no salt or anything else, but I want to do everything by the book. So, all right, that's everything. Now the next step is to Lock it in and the regulator is still off. This part of the process is the venting where it will replace all of the air inside the canner with steam. So let's see how we do that. So it says fill jars, we just did that, advancing it and so now we're getting the heat and it is going to vent. So it will heat up for a little while and then it does vent for 10 minutes. So when that is done and the regulator is off, so the steam will be coming out of the, the vent pipe right here. And when that part is finished, we'll bring you back and I'll show you what is next. The canner is telling us that the venting is done. And if you can listen, you can still hear some of the steam coming up from the vent. So. That beeping will not stop until we push the next button to move it on to the canning process. We need to put the regulator on. Uh, the little arrow here should point to the word can on the ring. And keep your fingers, don't do it like this, because the steam comes out here, so keep your fingers off to the side or use a hot pad. So I'm going to just put that in place right here. And that's right over the word can. And then I'm going to uh, push the button and Jim will keep focus on the screen so you can see what happens next. So we're advancing and there's our 20 minutes of processing time. So it will take a little time for it <clears throat> to get up to the processing time. Then it will process for 20 minutes, then the heat goes off and we don't touch it. We need that natural cool down and when you take a look at the data sheet with me at the end of this video, you'll see why that is really important. So we will be back in probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half for it to complete this next phase and then we'll take them out of the canner and take a look at the data sheet. The canner just finished its final cool down and the airlock right here behind the green button just dropped. You can still see a little bit of the steam coming out. So it is now safe to open the canner. 
So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to do it backwards here. Okay. And we can lift all of these jars out. So they just look really good. And here is the one with the blue X on it, and that will have my data logger in it. And so I will retrieve that data logger. And if you would like to see how I do that, um, the chicken video that we did with this series on the Presto digital canner, I show how and I'm gonna do that. And then, um, I take it into my computer, download the data, and that's what I'm going to do right now. And when I come back, I will have the data sheet and I'll explain to you whether or not these pints of green beans are safe to eat and you'll see the data that will show either yes or no. So I'll see you in just a little bit. So it has been several minutes since the canner stopped. Well, probably more like a half an hour. It took me a little bit of time to get the data downloaded and analyzed and I had some interruptions. While I was sitting at my computer, I listened as these jars all popped, and so I think we still have a couple to go. This one has popped, but this is the one that I had my logger in, and so it has been opened up, and even though it has popped, there is no way that I will put this out on the pantry shelf. This one will go right in the refrigerator. Okay, so here's the data. <clears throat> this is my data book. This is where I've kept all of the data that as I have checked for the Instant Pot Max as well as for the Presto. So this is the Presto Digital Green Beans Pints. So here's how this is read. The time goes down here and my logger tracks the time and what the temperature was at any given time. This is Celsius on this side. What we want to hit in Celsius is a minimum of 115 and then we want, um, so that's about halfway through right here. And then uh, we want to go up to about 121. That's between uh, 240 and 250. Okay, so the highest that we got is 117. And it was very consistent. And this is the start time. The, uh, process, the 20 minute processing time started at um, 558 and went to 618. That's 20 minutes. And so this is the only time that uh, the processing was going on. Once it hit here, that heat turned off. Now, this is what is very interesting. So we, I started the counter, of course, much earlier than that because it took time to heat up and heat up and heat up. Then boom, here's where the processing start started. And then it needed to climb a little bit more to hit the kill zone. So this is 115 Celsius or 240 uh, Fahrenheit. And it maintained, and actually 117 is 242 degrees. So it was 240, 241, or 242 for this entire time. This is the kill zone. In fact, this is 30 minutes of kill zone. Now, once the canner turned off, sometimes we're really tempted to do a quick release, but look at what happened because we did not do that quick release. It stayed in the kill zone all of this time. And you know what? We needed this time in order to meet what I'm calling the magic number. And that magic number is when I run it through my um, Excel file where it has all the logarithms already calculated. And I enter the um, temperature and the duration that it stayed at that temperature. Then it does all of its calculations and it comes out with a number at the bottom. That number at the bottom, I have to compare to the industry standard, and it should always be above that number. And so our number here was well over that number. So yes, indeed, these are very safe. The Presto did a really good job of um, keeping those pints of green beans in the kill zone for even longer than was necessary, longer than the industry standard was. So this was a success. And so um, I'm gonna flip back a page and I will show you the um, <clears throat> data for the quartz. 
of green beans. I think that's here. Here's, here is the quartz. And so once again, <clears throat> this processing time was 25 minutes. And you can see that the kill zone was, um, actually this kill zone was 39 minutes. And it was more than adequate to meet the criteria for safe canning. And so both the quartz and the pints of green beans are canned very safely in the Presto. And that is really good because green beans are one of the largest offenders for um, hanging on to botulism. And it's not the green beans fault. <laughs> what happens is people don't can them correctly. And so green beans are very susceptible to uh, spreading botulism if they are not canned properly. So this was a, a very good success. I'm pleased to report that the Presto did a great job on green beans. So thank you for joining us and we will see you at our next video.